<laughs> what did Clint learn out of this? You see? Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lian. I'm Tim Kulu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to dive right into episode 8 of Doom Patrol Season 3. Really enjoying the season thus far. There are some slow moments. A lot of moments where people are sitting around in the table and talking. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but eight episodes in, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, the Sisterhood of Dada with one of the OG recruits, Rita, surprisingly basically did something to the doom patrol last episode they had a a face bird creature fly to them and they disappeared to something um the, the eternal flagellations as they call it <laughs> um this is all a revenge plot because of one of them betrayed them um i'm just here for the ride at this point. I don't. I, I'm not even going to predict what episode this episode is going to be about. <laughs> Let's dive right in. Like if like, more reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Road to 1K. You know what I'm saying. Let's dive right in. Yeah, those birds with faces. It's the Doom Patrol. What? Is that the chief? What the hell is happening? You be there. It send them. Through a memory? Young Vic does not look like old Vic. I'm sorry. No? Let's see what the cops say. Look, I will pay. Hero toys. God damn. You. He meant Dad, Is he remembering you. that he's the black superhero toy now? We don't and he won't mistakes. go through that weird One surgery he wants to go through? Could cost you your life. Damn, he didn't even take General Tony. What, the toy speaking? He's the toy now? Ooh, Jane is in Sesame Street. Who's the one that's an actual person? Hi, Jane. <laughs> Who's the sheep? Harry? Hammerhead. The underground is weird this season. <laughs> and that's saying something. <laughs> Dada bird. Why are they blaming Shane? What? This is awesome. Ah, Brandon Fraser. Congratulations on him for being Firefly and Bad Girl. <laughs> he doesn't remember this memory? Feels like every episode is a therapy session for each one of them. Larry is at a church. It's his wedding day. Is this dude's nightmare of marrying a woman? <laughs> Damn, Larry. Larry. <laughs> They're just watching the news? Why is Vic... <laughs> General Tony. Rita! I'm not a sub. Subconscious beings. I've taken a recent experience. The flagellation. The world to anything trapped. So they subconscious is in the real world now? Why? Because just doing our own. So they need to have a breakthrough to get their bodies back? Evil. Oh no, no. It is evil. Is the scourge. That heard of Dada. Evil. So the whole world fishy little face when we find her ass. The whole world's getting punished for one person's deed. Flagellating. She's working with the Brotherhood of Evil? That's why she's a time traveler? Madame Rouge. Goddamn, so his mother knew. Yeah. Your sins. Oh. He had a religious mother. It isn't the past. Shame to my life. Your, your shame. We are God fearing members of this community. Yeah, out here dealing with race, homophobia, straight up trauma. Me. Damn. Listen. 
He has to live up the memory. What's gonna be his big through? <laughs> this Sesame Street thing is weird. I think the last time I saw this was like in Doom Patrol. No. Legends of Tomorrow, my bad. <laughs> oh, Harry. Is Harry like the stuffed animals she keeps close to her? Are they about to fuck up Harry? Oh shit. <laughs> Yo. This show's weird. You throw away all his toys? No more mistakes. So then she joined. His voice is interesting. It's like Morgan Freeman meets something. I don't know what. She's trying to motivate subconsciousness. That felt like a weird sentence to say. Eternal. The fog is still around. Or is the whole world covered in fog now? They were still friends after? Years, after he killed the dude? Not. I did that. She seems so unbothered by this reality check Rita's giving her. This. You really think She's so cocky about it. Nas was right about his report. Word poem. Art is bullshit. I'm right Does she have a memory I'm back in this scene? Or it... Damn, that's messed up. Go ahead. Yo, that's messed up. That's so messed up to take his fall. Ah, damn, they gave up so quick. They turned around so quick, yo. <laughs> Maybe the gift wasn't because you're a best friend, but because of his guilt. Oh, messing with your wife. Is that a car cake? Oh, it's one of those things where women pop out of it. It is one of those things. <laughs> He's the king. They created a fort. Her first beer. <laughs> Gross. Very is always the one feeling the most. The Are the subconscious supposed to have the breakthrough so they get released, or is it the other way around? I'm not sure about that fact yet. One of them has to be Rita, right? Is she stealing the time machine? What voice is he hearing? That's how she got a memory. God damn, she had to kill herself having the much needed talk. Dude, this was a nightmare for you. What happened? Damn, he abandoned his daughter. Damn, Clint was a fucked up dad. If he left his daughter to party in the backseat, Clint broke the, the loops. The way they keep saying duty, it's intentional. God damn. They turning on each other. Did he talk about robot Clint? Clint is a grown man, child star. <laughs> it's an emotional episode. Brandon acting his ass off. Love to see it. He's a toy. Where is he? Is it the rock from his mother? That's Shane right there. That's Jane. <laughs> Ooh, groovy. <laughs> Why ain't Shane turning back to normal? Are they in the real world now? No, he's not blaming you. Damn, they're getting real with each other. The eternal flagellations. So is it only Larry talking to Larry? What about everybody else? I guess his flagellation is dead. It's done. <laughs> it's opening up season. Every day? Like how many breakthroughs do they need in this show? <laughs> Oh, where was the mother while he was doing all this shit? And he stole her money. <laughs> what did Clint learn out of this? You see? It's Victor's turn, I suppose. His childhood ended that day. Find your happiness, Victor. Be your inner child. Damn, Rita made them all see their traumas. Damn, Kate is blaming Jane. What? She just wished Jane would die? Damn, that was a dope transition. 
Damn, Rita. <laughs> Them running away is funny, not have a breakdown. Oh, shit. Damn, man. This is a fucked up episode. What's happening to the underground? You're the only one left. He's gonna raise the parasite? Damn. Went through with the surgery? Dude is yoked. Guess no more cyborg, just Victor Stone. Oh, Rita's revenge. That's how they gonna end it? The face off. The showdown, the revenge, the re revenge. God damn, what an emotional episode. Ted was one hell of a dad, god damn. Hmm. Victor was told to keep going. This trying to find his inner child thing. Um, Larry seems like the only one who kind of made a breakthrough this episode. He learned that he has to love. Who knows what's happening with Jane in the underground in that situation. Um, interesting episode. Very emotional. Very, very emotional. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this episode. I really liked it though. Why am I dropping frames right now? God damn. I hate it when this happens. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Interesting development with each character. But it does feel like we're in this weird loop of them understanding themselves, getting closer to who they're supposed to be. Then something from their past gets put in the forefront again then we have to relive the traumas god damn but they have so many traumas and they so bad yo like they so bad anyway deuces